welcome back to my channel and to another video. I'm very excited about today's video because me and my sister got together um, and had a very festive Christmassy evening where we made lots of different gift ideas. Inexpensive, mostly foodie things. A lot of the items are from places like Home Bargains and B&M and you know the in more inexpensive shop. Loads of nice hamper gifts that we put together and it was just so much fun and I really hope that you enjoy it and yeah I'll show you exactly what we made. So the first idea is a breakfast hamper. I think this is a really good one for couples, also for kids and it's one that you could give before Christmas. Like this is probably something that I will give my boys for Christmas morning so they can have a special breakfast and you can make it as expensive or inexpensive as budget allows. So I used a tray that was from Home Bargains it was really inexpensive and added in my gingerbread plate which was from Asda. I just added a couple of breakfast items, putting cereal in a jar just made it look a little bit fancier and that's just inexpensive and obviously whoever you're gifting it to can use the jar afterwards. These little Santa cutlery holders and just put in some plastic cutlery but the cutlery holders were from B&M, they're a set of four. And then I just added in a few of the condiments that I got from B&M, they were around £1.50 each for the mini jars of Nutella you could obviously split these up as well and separate them into different gifts the jams and the honey was also from B&M and yeah there's some pastries and things in there you can put all of their favorite things in and I just think it is a really good one especially for Christmas morning to have a special breakfast and it sort of takes the weight off anybody then you don't have to worry about what you're making. The next gift is a gaming camper now what I love about these is that you can make them as expensive all of these things you can make them as expensive as you want to depending what your budget is. I again got a basket from Home Bargains I prefer to use things that I know will get some use afterwards so one of these wire baskets I think is around three 99 obviously whoever you're gifting it to can use that for storage afterwards um, I also got the throw from home bargains which was £7.99 and the stress ball and the bottle I have put in a haul before and they were from B&M and then you can just add some snacks and things you could also add some games if you've got a higher budget if you want to make it a little bit more expensive some vouchers but all of these things that I got were fairly inexpensive from B&M and home bargains and I just think that is such a cool little gift so if you're buying for a teenager or a gaming fan then I think that is a great little gift to put together this next gift idea is just the easiest one ever. It's really good for the men that you've got to buy for, for granddads, I think. It is just so cheap as well. It only costs a couple of pounds to do. All you need is a pint glass. You could get a personalized one, which would make it a little bit more special. Fill it with Werther's Originals and then top it with some marshmallows and it makes it look like it is a pint of beer and it's just a nice little um, gift. It'd be good for neighbors as well. You can just put some, some cellophane around it and some ribbon. And yeah, how effective is that? Just really quick and easy. Be careful if you curl your ribbon like this, by the way. Obviously, I don't know whether that's the safest way to do it, but that's the way that we always do it. Um, but yeah, I think that is a really cute little stocking filler. Really inexpensive. A couple of pounds, get your glass and your sweets. Jobs are good in. Another really good one to do with the marshmallows, these are the mega marshmallows that you can get from B&M, um, is just to put them on a lolly stick, you can buy big packs of them, dip them in some melted chocolate and then add some sprinkles or any toppings that you want and these make such good stocking fillers, so so cheap to make as well. You just wrap them in some cellophane once they are set and they are just delicious and really good for the kids to have at Christmas. This next gift idea is one of my favourites. This is a hot chocolate box. You can put so many different things in these. These boxes I got last year when I did the small gifts, which I still love and will probably do again this year. I got them from Amazon, so I will link them down below if you're interested. Inside the box, I put in a nice festive Christmas mug, which was from Home Bargains, and then just added loads of different treats and toppings that you would put on your hot chocolate into these little bags just to make it look a little bit nicer keep everything the same um, and yeah just place them all around the mug even honeycomb as well like all, all sorts of things that you can have to make your hot chocolate just that bit fancier these baubles you, you can get these from craft stores but these were saved from a previous gift I think they had some socks in and they were just filled with 
celebrations which is another good one you could put them in stockings or you could put them on the tree a little sachet of hot chocolate a couple of candy canes to stir the hot chocolate and that is just the best little gift because who doesn't love a hot chocolate at Christmas time the next one is a great alternative to a selection box. So my sister actually found these really cute little baskets in the works. They were £1.50. So instead of getting selection boxes, this could just be that little bit extra than one of those. We got loads of different chocolates. I put some on kebab sticks to just make them stand out a little bit more and just added loads to the basket. Also did a chocolate orange themed one um, and also one that was just filled with sweets. So you can put in whoever you're doing it for all their favorite things and you can just make it a little bit more personal. And again, really inexpensive, can be as expensive or cheap as you want it to be. Lastly, it is a hamper for big movie fans. So you can get these popcorn boxes. They sell them in one below, I think, and they might sell them in like Poundland and places. And they are just really good for putting in a load of snacks. If you've got a movie fan you're buying for, put in all their favorite things. You can also put in gift cards, um, DVDs, if anybody still watches DVDs. And yeah, fill it all up with things that somebody would love to have with a film, their favorite drink if you're doing it for a guy you could put in a few beers and things like that it's just a really versatile one that you can do loads of different ideas with I really hope that you enjoyed that and just you know enjoyed seeing some of the gift ideas that we are doing this year and I would love it if you gave it a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it let me know in the comments down below if you are making anything if you've got any ideas I would love to know and yeah I would love to see you again for my next video take care everyone bye